Hi, this is a quick video showing our Fox PC desktop running on this Google Pixel tablet. This is a pretty new device that we bought. Uh, this is running Lineage OS 21 or Android 14. Uh, our software will also run on the official firmware released by Google, uh, but you still need to root the device. We have already rooted this tablet with Magisk. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Fox PC Desktop is, Fox PC Desktop lets you run Linux desktop on any Android phone or tablet. It consists of two applications, the installer application that manages installation of the desktop and the desktop application that sends audio and graphics to Android. You normally don't need to deal with the desktop application directly. The installer application manages everything. So I've already installed Fox PC desktop on this device, so let's start it up. So this Google Pixel tablet has a high density screen with a res resolution of 2560 into 1600, which is considered high DPI. Uh, so once you install our Fox PC desktop, you will have to make some small changes so that it works well on this high resolution device. Uh, all of that is documented uh, on, on the readme file called high DPI settings. So please read it and make some simple changes. Because of our, our default Fox PC desktop image that you download is optimized for 180, 1080p resolution, but uh, this is a 2560 into 1600, which is a pretty high resolution device running on a 11 inch screen. So we need to make some simple changes. It's easy and we have documented everything. Once you do that, uh, the fonts and the cursor will look better on the small screen. I've already installed NeoFetch on it. So this is uh, more details about the system. Uh, this is running 5.10 Android 13 kernel and after the boot we have about 4 GB of the 8 GB left so it's a pretty uh, compre you know pretty nice device with lots of memory and a very high resolution display uh, another thing that you may not know is uh, this is uh, this kernel is what is called the generic kernel kernel de developed by Google so what it means is that, uh, you know, we, our application use graphics diverse for giving, to give us excellent performance. So when we, when you update Lineage OS from Lineage OS 21 to Lineage OS 22, which is Android 15 next year, uh, these APKs will continue to run because our graphics driver can still run with the new, newer kernel because Google guarantees the internal kernel APIs does not change between kernel versions. That is one of the benefits of the GKI kernel. So what it means is this device should uh, be fully functional for several years. Let's uh, show you some of the apps. Uh, uh, this is Firefox, Audio Works. There's some, some political news here. In Excuse me? Where is your hot sauce bar? Well, we don't uh, have one. Okay. Or you can even try Thunderbird. If you're running a, I suggest that uh, you get yourself a nice uh, keyboard and mouse. I'm using a uh, wireless keyboard and mouse, which makes it very comfortable on this device because the Linux desktop is more designed for keyboard and mouse. So if you're doing uh, programming, for example, you can uh, install uh, the Visual C 
code editor and learn programming on this Android tablet. And but for all all the tasks that you do on Linux, your it works much better if you have a keyboard and mouse. So you know, I think uh, you can get accessories on Amazon uh, that works well with this device. Uh, you can also launch uh, applications from here because Android is great for uh, media playback and uh, Android is great for media playback and games. Hey boss, I'll give you $100 for this car seat cover. And you can get back to desktop here. We also have uh, uh, for example, LibreOffice Suite. I've saved some files here. All these applications that I show you are from Debian Bookworm. And of course, you know, we will move to Debian. Trixie, which is the next version sometime next year after it became, after there's a stable release. So basically you can update it with your installer application that we have here. So everything is good. Uh, you know, I think that's all we have to show here. I, I have the screen recorder on, so I'm, you know, recording on the screen. I forgot to tell you that. So let me stop the recording and that's about it for, for now. Thank you guys.